Hello, my beautiful Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Thank you so much for tuning into your general reading for October 2020. Remember, you can check out your Moon, your Rising, and your Venus signs as well if you're dealing with uh, love, relationships. I think a lot of uh, the collective right now is going through changes and maybe a dark night of the soul type of an energy when it comes to your relationships and interpersonal relationships just because we have that beautiful new moon in libra happening and the sun is in libra also so it's making some difficult aspects you know to saturn to pluto a lot of transformation a lot of death and rebirth energy and also we have that mercury planet of you know communication the way we think our mind, how it works, what are we most likely to think about and uh, fuss over in the mental space uh, is in Scorpio retrograding, right, for the next three to four weeks. So we're looking at the shadows and our shadows are being mirrored, right, through other people. So for that reason, Aquarius, I'm going to be starting the reading with the shadow deck, okay, the twin flame shadows. Uh, remember, take these messages as they resonate with you. We can also be dealing with someone you're currently, you know, having entanglements with. So the shadows, again, are mirrors. It's a mirror for what is going on in the subconscious level that maybe you're not exactly aware of. At this, it hasn't come to the surface. It hasn't come to your uh, conscious mind yet. But it's being brought up through what's going on in the outside right so as without so within as within so without as above so as above so below uh if you guys want a personal reading please do check out my website and intuition tarot.com you can follow me on instagram and facebook i put out a lot of content there daily readings daily energy readings um also updates in, in the astrology like i said check me out there mostly instagram is the place to be because we have some interesting videos now that we can make through reels with music and it's just a quick reading and it gets you going and it gives you an idea of what's going on that day energetically. Okay, we're in, we're diving deep here already in the Scorpio energy with your shadows. So thank you so much for hitting that like button, guys. Thank you so much for sharing this video. If you know any Aquarians out there. Uh, the spiritual community is really taking a hit here on YouTube where we're not getting as many views and as many uh, subscribers. So please spread these messages if you feel called to do so. All right. So the first two shadow messages for you. Secretive. Doubt. Something about hidden information that is... Um, maybe you're hiding something or they're hiding something. It's something that's not being revealed to you and it's making you feel really uneasy and you're probably even doubting the relationship. You're doubting a connection. You're doubting the future of this relationship. Remember Aquarius, you're very future oriented. It's, you know, Aquarius is ruled by Uranus and Uranus is, is the planet of revolution, of it's a visionary, you know, it want it sees what other people cannot see. For some reason, you're being blocked in that sense where things are hidden for a reason, and it's causing a little bit of doubt and fear within you this month. Okay, let's we're gonna use the beautiful intuit oracle, the trio. What other messages does my Aquarians need to know here for October? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please, Spirit. Elephant. Gentle, lucid dreams. Focused, power, wise, supportive, trust, telepathy, wit. I feel like this is your energy, Aquarius. I gotta be honest. Maybe you're having lucid dreams and it feels very elusive it does it feels uneasy like i said there's something that's not making you trust the way you used to someone is communicating telepathically here someone has telepathic um abilities and you keep questioning is that what i really is that what i'm really feeling is that what i'm really hearing 
you you're doubting because again the information something is still secret some something is still hidden then we have the double rainbow beautiful energy the double rainbow speaks of you know hope the promise of a new day divine intervention duality perfect timing ascension serendipity good luck cohesive whatever it is that's being hidden and kept secret from you is divinely orchestrated i'm hearing okay so they're asking you to trust in what you don't see right now aquarius with the elephant you're wise beyond your years like i said aquarians my venus is in aquarius and this is something that i value in you know partners and, and in people if people are not um are not able to understand me on a telepathic level or they just don't get it there's just something that they don't get that i see with my third eye or that i see without proof physical proof then i i have a hard time trusting people but there's something here that's bringing you good luck something happens in really in, the, in perfect timing the fact that it's hidden it the, is because it's protected okay so whatever is hidden it's because it's protected it has to be kept secret it has to be kept hidden but obviously it's creating a little bit of doubt in your mind here because you do you know your mind is something that is constantly working as an aquarian it's like you're constantly uh, you're a little bit mercurial in that sense but it's because you have this vision you have this feeling you have this way of knowing all right so we have the bridge communication unite connecting inter integrate overcoming barriers share harmony compromise you see here we have the mountain and the bridge the bridge is what's going to bridge that gap that gap is the mountain it's it's that distortion it's the problem it's an obstacle it's distant it's a barrier it's an interruption cold solitude block pride whatever it is that's that has been blocked or or something that hasn't been revealed something that's delayed something that is distant it feels like a problem and this is why it does cause some doubt right i feel like the bridge here is saying it's helping you connect on a higher level and there will be a time that you're going to be able to connect the dots that are not clear yet okay that's what the bridge and the mountain for me means the bridge is coming and creating a path a communication a line of communication that opens that space to understand what it was that was blocked that needed to be blocked but protected if you felt at a distance from someone or you felt disconnected or you felt like you were not getting enough answers the bridge comes in to say that it's going to connect the dots again. They keep, they keep repeating, connecting the dots. You will unite. There will, be a, 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 there will be a time in divine timing where you will be connected again. Whether this is a person, this is another you know, person, job, whatever it is that's going on in your life, the dots will be connected. But... You have to understand that on a higher level, they're protecting you from it for now. Just because it's not ready to be revealed yet. All right, let's get some tarot here. Yeah, Page of Swords. Someone is definitely watching here. But in this card, you see... It's like he has the answers to something. He has books in, it, in his bag... And he's attempting to communicate. It's an attempt. Is he ready? Is she ready? Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
Is it premature communication that you might be getting in your dreams or telepathically? Three of Swords. Three of Swords is healing from a heartache, from a broken heart. Yeah, someone's been keeping, keeping their heartache to themselves here. Because the Page of Swords, again, they attempt to communicate what's been hurting them with the Three of Swords. Look, there's a journal. It means that there's something that's been locked and hidden from you. Feelings of heartbreak and of heartache, of hurt, disappointment have been hidden, have been locked away for a long time, it feels, in this journal. You see how it's raining? It's dark. This person is going through a dark night of the soul. Like I said, this can be you or someone else, but it feels like someone else here is trying to connect. The devil. You see here, devil is constrictions. It's restrictions. It's limitation. It's temptation. It's obsessiveness. It's obsession. Something lures them in or lures you in here. Devil, Capricorn energy. But this is all in the mind I'm getting again. It's all in the mind because it feels like the mind is playing tricks on you with this card, secret. Something is not revealing itself. Someone's not revealing themselves because they feel bound to this hurt, to this heartbreak. Someone is not allowing themselves to come out and communicate that's the obstacle the obstacle is communication here right we saw that with the bridge the dots need to be connected the bridge need, the gap needs to be bridged here but someone is again in heavy heavy doubt fears look at this someone really thinks that you are everything queen of pentacles she is stable she is financially stable grounded she's a mother she takes care of the home she's more mature here right she does have gray hair but she doesn't necessarily have to have gray hair it's really just symbolic of how she's grown how mature and emotionally stable she's become and how financially stable she's become ten of pentacles someone sees you as someone who can potentially be in their life for the long run for the long term ten of pentacles is long-term commitments here it's stable someone just has this this vision of you, of really having this potential of sharing a life that they've never been able to share with anyone. Maybe children too. I see a lot of children. Maybe some of them are questioning whether they want to have children. It feels like a blended family here for some of you. For some of you, not all of you. Ten of Pentacles. It feels like a blended family for some of you, like I said. I'm sorry about the glare. Then we got the Two of Swords with the world. Again, it's that uncertainty. It's, it's what I can't see. I'm not sure. I'm blinded. I'm, I'm not facing the reality here. She's blindfolded here with the Two of Swords. There's a little bit of doubt of, about what she cannot see because things are still hidden under the mask here. Secretive. <sighs> with the world, but look at this. With the world, I feel like she's, she's going to have to, she's going to be able to liberate herself. Remember, because we have the devil. The devil spoke of restrictions, obsessions, temptations, uh, limitations, self-sabotage. The world tells me that this cycle will end. She's letting go. Look, she's throwing caution to the wind here. She is 
being more, she's spontaneous. She's more open and releasing herself from these shackles. She's freeing herself here from the doubt, from the insecurity. She's removing the blindfold and she's facing reality. Yeah, three of cups. Look at this celebration. This is the full moon. You might have something to celebrate, Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. By the end of the month here, full, there's a full moon in Taurus on October 31st. And it's known to be a blue moon. Once in a blue moon. This feels like this call to celebrate. This call, this invitation to reunite or unite with your soul tribe. Or simply celebrate and be happy about something is something that you've never experienced. Not in this lifetime. With the two of wands. But you're still, you see, we're still waiting for something. But there, he's connected. Someone here is having to make a decision. It might be a masculine energy. Where he has to really be open to what is written in the stars. See how we have the sky here with the stars are all lit up. He's holding the world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. That's the song. But you see, there's light, flashlights here. Or is it fire? I can't really tell. Something illuminates his path here. He sees the world differently now, doesn't he? Something is shining a light on how he sees the universe and how he sees his reality. He's more open now. For everyone who is watching, this is the Everyday Witch Tarot deck. All right, let's get one more, two more. Yes, this is going to take a little bit of time. Remember, we saw that uh, it's all in divine timing, perfect timing here, because it feels like something is protected. Knight of Pentacles, it's slow, it's cautious, it's methodical. Knight of Pentacles, this can be the energy that's coming through or the person's energy that's coming through here for you. This person just wants to make sure he has all his ducks lined up in a row, that he has all the tools necessary to approach you or confront you. So he has his tool belt here. So he's taking things step by step, slowly but surely. And again, we don't see him moving here with the Page of Wands. He's like looking back. But he's carrying something. So it does feel like he's on his way towards you in a sense and we do see the trees here are yellow so it does feel like an autumn feel see this the autumn season here he's taking one last look at his past here at his past it's a past aspect of who he used to be all right guys let's get some romance angels here where are we at 18 minutes gosh does time fly keep give your relationship a chance work on your partnership let your friends help you ask for and ask for and accept support from others all right so here give your relationship a chance again ask it to ask for support and accept from others accept support from others I, again, this is divinely guided. I feel like the people in this card are really your guides and their guides. A person you haven't met yet or whoever you're connecting with, it's they're helping you give this a chance. They're helping you believe. You see how she, she has her eyes closed? She doesn't yet see him, but she feels him. So they're really encouraging and supporting you to continue having faith 
in this connection. You're giving this connection a chance on an energetic level first, in the spiritual realm first. They're making you feel this person. They're making you feel the energy. Because if you're not open to it energetically, then there's going to be a block here when it manifests. You see, it's the bridge, the bridge between the 5D and the 3D. You need to be already accepting and working towards this connection and embracing the energy in the 5D, in the spiritual realm, in the dream space. However you connect. Yeah, look at this. New love. Bridging the gap. <sighs> codependency. Interesting. Addictions are affecting your romantic love life. I feel like the codependency really has to do with uh, limitations, restrictions, uh, you self-sabotaging, you not believing, you doubting this, this possibility. You not seeing it creates doubt. Empress, someone sees you as a goddess, honey. The goddess empress here that is the creator of life, right? The empress gives birth here. She births things into reality. She's the vessel between the, the spirit world and the physical world here. So I feel like a lot of you need to let go of your self-sabotaging ways. How are you self-sabotaging? What is getting in the way? What is the obstacle, the barrier that is, that you're still attached to, that you're still worried about? That's what's creating this block. Let's get some mermaid oracles here. Merma messages from the mermaids. Abundance. Look at that. Someone is very, very much abundant, financially stable. Look at this abundance. It fell on the new love card. So this new person, this new connection, this energy, this person here that we don't know yet, right? We see him in his armor, but we don't see his face. There's a lot of abundance here abundance in all its forms but it does feel like this again this person is is really capable to provide you a life of stability we saw that in the ten of pentacles didn't we okay long term long has some he really embodies this longevity this energy of long term waiting this is you waiting, patiently waiting, right? In that divine intervention. So it's okay if you're waiting. It really is okay. It's part of the plan. Waiting for the sun to come up. Waiting for the masculine energy to show up and reveal itself, right? Because he's hiding, but he's there. There's someone here. And then we have move forward. Someone's about to make a move. But like I said, this is Neptune, Neptune with his trident. He's going to move forward once there's some type of recognition and awareness. Recognizing it's a soul recognition here that needs to happen. He needs to remember and connect to your soul. Something from past lives that's coming up here for you guys. All right, let's get some angel answers and see what else spirit has. Reconsider. Someone's reanalyzing, reconsidering something. You see here? Meditation brings answers with reconsider. Someone is really taking the time to look things over. It's simply looking things, revisiting the past, looking at things from a different perspective. It's we're not taking any action here. We're not taking action steps. We are letting the information pour through us. And remember, the guides, 
in behind the scenes in your dreams energetically spiritually are helping you to are helping him probably him to reconsider maybe he's put you on the back burner maybe he's come across you and he wasn't sure he was doubting Writing, there's a level of doubt that is being mirrored here between you and this person. But look at this. Don't stop. There's going to be a call here. He's going to be called to move forward, to approach. He needs to heed the call. He needs to heed the call. Oh my goodness, beautiful. Okay, guys. Same messages, different cards. Serena, the angel. Serena says, I am the angel of abundance. Didn't we get that? You will receive money that you need, and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. Have faith in what you don't yet see. Look at that. Beautiful. There's abundance that is around you during this time. And like I said, you are protected. Our beautiful Archangel Michael, he's known to be the angel, of, the Archangel of protection, of courage. I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. This abundance that's coming in, abundance of love, abundance of strength, abundance of excitement and happiness and money is protected. So whatever it is that you don't see at Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, it's protected. It has to be. If it's of, of a higher vibration, it has to be. So you are communicating telepathically with someone via the dreams. Whatever it is that you're getting, trust. Trust in what you don't yet see. The dots will be connected shortly. We have abundance, we have new love, we have new energy. It's all happening in divine timing as you wait. You're not waiting in vain. You are preparing yourself for this new version of who you will be, this new life. But you got to let go of your old life to welcome your new life, right? So Aquarius, I'm hoping that these messages resonated and brought you some insight please follow me on instagram m.intuition.tarot on instagram and facebook you can reach out for a personal reading through my website and i'm wishing you the best energy here for the rest of the month of october 2020 you guys are awesome i'll see you on the next one